So I recently got this iPhone 15 and all my data transferred over for the most part. But the problem was the Authenticator app. I have half a dozen Microsoft Entra ID tenants that I log into to do dev work and they're all broken now. And this is one of those things that doesn't happen very often, so I don't really commit to memory. So I had to go dig this up from the documentation on how to do this. And I finally figured it out. So I thought I'd share. So that when you upgrade your phone and you have to redo all your MFA through Microsoft Authenticator, you won't panic like I did. So the first thing to do in the Authenticator app, there is an iCloud backup option. I would highly recommend you take advantage of that if you do iCloud. There is a recovery account that is a Microsoft account that you log into and you got to make sure that you do this. The first time you launch that app and it's completely empty, you have to tell it you want to enter recovery mode and then log in. If you add that recovery account as if it's a normal account, it's not going to actually recover anything. It's not smart enough to do that. So on your new phone, when you pull up the Authenticator app and it's completely empty and it prompts you to sign in, make sure you look for that start recovery option, log in. Once you log in with that Microsoft account, that's the recovery account, most of your stuff pulled over, but most of it's gonna show up with action required. And the action required is really not super helpful. Like you go into action required and it says, scan the QR code provided by your organization to finish recovering this account. And that kind of implies that I should know where that QR code is, but I don't. But I found out where it is, so I'm gonna share that with you. So buried within the Microsoft Authenticator app documentation on learn.microsoft.com, there is an aka.ms link called MFA Setup. And then you log in with the account that you're trying to set up. It's gonna take you to this page, mysignins.microsoft.com security info, and it's gonna have your phone number, your password, and your Microsoft Authenticator app for your old phone. The add sign-in method may be great out for you depending on what the policies are within your Entra ID, but only one Microsoft Authenticator is gonna be allowed. So you're gonna to have to delete that before you can go back in and add a new sign-in method. Then follow the onboarding process to set it up on your new phone. That's it. I wish it was a little bit more obvious, but hopefully this helps you out. I know this is a little bit off topic for my channel, but uh, working in the Azure space, you're bound to work with Azure AD or Entra ID as they call it these days. And being a human on planet Earth, you're bound to get a new iPhone every few years or so. And also being a human, you're bound not to commit this process to your brain matter if you only use it every two years. So I thought I'd lock this in the history books, help you out and my future self out. Good luck and happy terraforming Azure. Cheers.